bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. This next organization may have chosen your community as an attractive place to live, work, and shop. So stay with us and find out if you're on the list. Hello again and thanks for joining us. I'm Carla Showell Lee and you're watching Comcast Newsmakers. In the studio with me this hour is Barry Seymour, Executive Director of the Delaware Valley Regional Planning Commission. And today we're talking about the classic towns of Greater Philadelphia. Thanks for joining us today, Barry. Hi, Carla. Good to see you. I had to admit that I was a little disappointed because my town wasn't on the list. But you said that we haven't extended it that far, right? Well, we we we're, yeah. we're looking for the for the best towns in the region, yeah. and for this first round, what we did is identify just a, a short number of communities. You know, there's so many wonderful communities in this region, and um, but but a lot of people don't know where they are yeah. or, or how to find them. Um, when people are moving and making a location choice, you know, whether they're moving across the country or just moving across the street, uh, it's hard to find out about the, the variety of places that are out there. Right. Um, and in fact, one, I think one of the strengths of this region are these great number of small towns, uh, authentic places, uh, places that we're calling classic towns. Yeah, is that classifying a classic town? Well, what, what we're calling the classic towns of Greater Philadelphia uh, are communities that are authentic, historic, small towns, kind of small town in a big city feel. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people are looking for now. They're looking for something authentic and original. Uh, many of these places have transit access, so it gives you great options. Uh, you don't necessarily have to drive to work. You can commute by, by transit. Uh, they have mixed use. They have downtown shopping. You can walk to a movie. You can, kids can walk to the playground. So I think that these are really going to be the, the communities of the future. Is it important, Barry, to live in a town uh, that's, uh, that you want to work and live, I mean, work and, and shop at the same time? Well, I mean, it gives you an option. It gives you an option. Uh, yeah, you, you may not always shop shop downtown, but it gives you that option. You you can walk there. It may give you an option that there's a restaurant downtown that you, you can uh, you can get to at night. So we created a, a marketing website, classictowns.org, uh, that gives you information about these 11 communities. And we what we want to do is market not only here in the Philadelphia region, but places like New York and Baltimore. Mm -hmm folks that are looking to move to the greater Philadelphia area and give them options about where to look. When did you pick off, kick off the, the uh, program? Well, we just uh, launched the website this past month, classictowns.org, okay, okay. um, right. and uh, we're, we hope to eventually grow that. We have 11 communities in this first round. And you say you know all the communities' names, okay. I do. We're all working right, with every one Barry. of them. So we have Ambler, Doylestown, and Bristol. Uh, Westchester, Lansdowne, Media. We have two Philadelphia communities because really... Surprising. Well, yeah. you know, Philadelphia is called a, a, a city of neighborhoods, but it's really small towns, yeah, classic right. towns. Mm -hmm. So Maniunk and Overbrook Farms in Philadelphia and three New Jersey communities in the first round, Collingswood, Haddon Heights, and Riverton. Yeah, I know Mayor Nutter was very, very excited about the fact that uh, he says here, we want to attract new residents and showcase the beauty and historic value of our city and our classic towns. We, we think that, that these, these places, whether they're in the city or whether they're in the suburbs, are really all part of, of our greater region and, and give people, um, it's, it's one of the, the the great advantages of this region having these kinds of communities. Have you had any objections to people saying that's not a classic town? Well, no, you know what? what <laughs> no what negativity we, yet. We have had is the opposite, though. We've had, had people call and say, why isn't my town on that okay, list? Right. And, uh, well. you know, after we get through this first round, I think we'll be looking to expand it because there are quite a few more, more classic towns out there. Right. I was wondering why you had st stopped at the number 11 in particular. Most people say 10 towns, not particularly 11. Well, we went one more. Yeah, you went one more. <laughs> so what happens next? I mean, if you've, you've identified your classic towns, what's the next step in the process? Well, right now the, web the website is live. It has information about each of the towns mm -hmm. with links to, to information on places to live, real estate, uh, shopping, business. So for people that are looking to as a place to live, whether they're looking for a place to locate a business, uh, we want classictowns.org to be kind of the one-stop shop to find out information, and that will grow over time with more information. Mm -hmm. So okay. uh, we're, we're, we're advertising, sending folks to the website. We'll be helping each of the towns do their own marketing as well. Yeah, and that spills over to tourism, too. Absolutely. Yeah, all right, Barry. Good job. Thanks so Great. much for joining Thank us. You. Okay. This hour's newsmaker, Barry Seymour, executive director of the Delaware. Delaware Valley Regional Planning Commission. I'm Carla Showalee for Comcast Newsmakers, an exclusive production of Comcast.